Hello everyone, this is Sephiroth's Awakening, and welcome back to the Let's Play Star Ocean Second Evolution for the PlayStation Portable. Thanks to a person on YouTube named Miss Dekmus, MS Dekmus, uh, they told me about the follow-up PA here in Harley, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take on the final 10 wise man and get the ending. I also will probably later on in a few days be making a video to uh, manipulate the endings if I can. Anyways, you can find Yule here and you ask him how it's going, start some small talk. They exchange their names. Well, he already said his name was Yule, I think. And he's annoying as usual. And I guess it was something in his past. Alright, so he's becoming a sailor. Anyways, now we gotta go leave town. Why, you shall see. Dot, dot, dot. Everybody's late. For a very important date. Oh, these guys again. <laughs> Yule's lady. I guess we're getting kidnapped. Using him at her as boat bait to bring Yule here. Yule's already someplace close by. Yup, he's very close. There's some crappy items in those chests if you want crappy items like leather boots. Anyways, find Yule over here. Yule, no. Gonna make him pay for it. Oh crap! I'm not gonna lose. Let's see what we got here. Spectacles. Sandor, oh no! Ouch! Ouch! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Better punch him! Punch! Punch for your life! Or <laughs> it's all over. Anyways. Yes, this guy was a very difficult enemy, gave a lot of experience, and Reyna leveled up from it. Just kidding. Yay, magical healing power.
No, don't do it, Reyna. Yes, yes, you can't. Yay, and now we got control again. I'm gonna load my save from Phenol. Alright, we're here in Phenol. Let's head up these stairs. Lots and lots of stairs before the final boss. Luckily, we don't have any uh thing to deal with, any enemies to deal with. Um also I equipped just so you know, I equipped a sacrificial doll on everyone. Oops, almost forgot uh Reyna's Sacrificial Ball. This has ev elemental damage and will definitely um, definitely help because the final 10 wise men spams magic attacks. Your twisted schemes are all gonna end here. Now I'm gonna take you down for the sake of our galaxy and to avenge my father. We will defeat you, for the sake of everybody in the universe, especially for Expel. <laughs> well, you talk a good game anyway. However, I'm afraid you're too late. The symbol of annihilation is complete. Stop what you're doing now and give up immediately! You can't win! All of the other wise men are dead! You think I'll just give up? I'm the only one left, and why should I care about that? There is no need for anyone else but me. I could have completed it with or without the other wise men. You see, there was really only one person that I needed. And now, dear Felia, I am going to crush these insects and revel in their anguish. Let's enjoy it together. We'll begin this prelude to Armageddon! <laughs> well, we got an awesome cutscene. And now, battle. This looks a little rough. This is bad. You will be deleted. Alright, we got a, a awesome music going on here. Not experience card, what am I thinking? Spectacles. This guy has 500k HP, I think, if I recall correctly. And he loves spamming this uh, point blank AoE, so keep him on the. Uh... He loves spamming this point blank AoE, which damages the party a lot. So keep him on the back. Uh, keep him on the back foot as much as you can. All right, now this is phase two. And he'll start spamming uh, more powerful spells than just that uh, point blank AoE spell he does, which wiped out my party before. I'm not 100% sure how you avoid it besides keep him, keeping him on the back foot. But here, just spam your special attacks, and he shouldn't last too long. Now this is one of his most powerful spells. I'm thinking Pressus is probably going to go down from it, if not everyone else. Alright, now I'm going to back off and use a Revival Mist, Re Resurrection Mist, that fully... Oh, her Sacrificial Doll, Derp. In that case, let's see. There's got to be something that heals all people in here. Goddess statue? No, don't have any. Wonder drug. Oh, that sounds nice. Raise guts. Don't know if that'll help any, but. Luckily, Reyna's keeping us topped off, so this is going a lot better than it did previously. And I'm not too worried about Claude's MP because it can still 
work on keeping this guy on the back foot without any just his physical attacks as long as you have the a turner luckily that's just a buff but unfortunately that means his spells are going to be a bit more powerful now yes you have stopped me there's no need to put the light out yet Not too shabby. Didn't even have to worry about him raising his stats with Angel Feather. He just died. The power. Oh great, you leveled this is up. Kind of embarrassing. I can live with this. Ooh, great. You are wasting your time. The universe is doomed to extinction regardless. The symbol of annihilation is set to go off upon my death. One way or the other, my goal will come to fruition. Your goal? How can you rule the universe if you destroy it? Rule the universe? Who said I needed to rule the universe? If I cannot reign over it, then destroying everything will suffice just as well. Why are you doing this? You would never understand. Destroying the universe is my life's work. It is the entire purpose of my existence. It is what we were created for. The only thing we were created to do. Wh what The symbol of annihilation has been activated. Your doom is inevitable, no matter what you do. Reyna, put the symbol of divinity on top of the symbol of annihilation. What are you doing? Hurry up before it's too late. of the universe then what's with all the shaking why is it getting worse and worse I told you the symbol of divinity does not destroy the power but simply diverts it to somewhere else there are but a few places capable of withstanding a force strong enough to destroy the entire universe so now that energy's oh no the symbol of divinity has diverted all of the energy to energy need. But can energy need withstand all that? I'm afraid that any trace of its existence will soon disappear. Please don't worry. We will use the energy freed by the explosion to teleport you far away from energy need. Expel will be transported from the past to the present as well. That way, you'll finally have everything back. That's not the problem right now. Well, it beats losing the entire universe, doesn't it? The symbol of annihilation was one of the most horrible sins of the Nidians. You don't have to feel sorry for us. Need has existed well beyond its natural life. So long that it had the ability to destroy all of outer space on a whim. No civilization in existence developed more fully than Need. The end of the road has to come sometime. 
Why didn't you tell us about this? If I had known you were going to sacrifice energy need, then maybe we could have done something else. You've always been so kind to us. If you knew the truth, you would have hesitated to act at the moment we needed it the most. That is why we asked Dr. Chandler and Ms. Madison to keep it to themselves. Wait! Why don't we just bring everyone on energy need along with us? We can't. There isn't enough energy to transport hundreds of millions of people to expel. Besides, we want to stay with our homeland in its dying moments. We've now realized that when a civilization refuses to evolve, then it loses all reason for its existence. Reyna, Ms. Madison, and Dr. Chandler, you will be the last survivors of the Nidian race. I want you to make the best of it. I... I don't... I'll try my best, sir. Farewell, everyone. This is where we say goodbye. No, I... It's all right. It's remarkable how serene we feel right now. I'm sure it's because our hearts are finally one with all of yours. Farewell. Please remember what we fought for. Let's go home. Yeah. This is so boring. I hope everyone's doing okay. Oh, look at me. I can't let myself live in the past like this. I need to think about what I'm gonna do next. Boy, it's been a long time since that little journey of mine. I kind of miss everybody. Hope they're all doing okay. Ah, trying to cheer me up, little guy. Thanks. Sorry, I haven't been around in a while. I had to deal with some stuff. Have you been watching me, Cecile? I never thought I'd be saving the universe someday. 
I have so many stories for you. I don't know where to start. What are you running away for? It'll work this time, I promise. That's what you said the last time it didn't work. That was then, Ashton. This is now. The machine I've got this time is absolutely, positively, definitely gonna work. I swear. L listen, I appreciate you looking for a way to get me back to normal, but you don't have to do all this for me. Besides, I thought you said you didn't mind Creepy and Weepy. Um, I, I don't mind them. No, but they make things inconvenient sometimes, you know? Inconvenient? How? Ah, uh, forget it! Anyway, if I can get them off your body without hurting them, then you've got nothing to complain about. Right? Right. No, I guess not. I just don't want it to be so painful. Man up a little. Are you all right, Priestess? Did you get hurt? No, I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. If anything ever happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Ashton. Ah, <sighs> uh, creepy! Can you at least close your eyes or something when we're like this? Could you get out of my way for a second, please? I'm afraid we cannot, Lady Celine. What would we do if something happened to you? I already told you that you don't have to worry about me. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm afraid we do have to worry about it, milady. If you insist on leaving, then I'm afraid you must kill me for the privilege. Oh, brother. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Hey, what's going on here? Ah, King Klauser. Clyde? What's the problem here, then? Your Highness, the Queen keeps going on about wanting to depart on an adventure. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, Your Majesty? I know Expel's a big place, but I doubt anyone in it is foolish enough to try and lay a hand on Selene. You should know by now how well she can take care of herself. Uh, but King Klauser... Knock yourself out, Selene. Just remember your duties as a queen, all right? I'll need you back here by the Harvest Festival in the fall. Are you sure? I know this castle must be giving you cabin fever, but promise me you'll come back here safe, okay? Of course, Clyde. Thank you. So when do you think you'll be back, Claude? Hmm, well, I'll be involved in military exercises in Sector Beta, so probably not for another six months or so. I see. Well, be careful. I'm sorry that I'm always leaving you like this. It's all right. You're just doing your job. Besides, I don't think I'm going to be alone for much longer. Whoa, what? <laughs> Do I have to spell it out for you? 
by the time you get back, you're going to be a father.
All right, so that's the finish screen. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoyed this uh, remake of Stars in the Second Story. In fact, when they uh, said they were coming out with a remake of Stars in the Second Story, that was the sole reason I bought a PSP. In fact, uh, just went to GameStop, picked up a PSP, and Star Ocean First Departure, and then later on I pre-ordered Star Ocean Second Evolution uh, on Amazon. And in fact, that's these are pretty much the only games I play on PSP at the moment. Anyways, I may try to manipulate the endings next time, uh, but I'll see you. But I'll see what I can do. Anyways. See you guys next time.